They caught him. He just attacked some woman in where? the where? park. Where? Where? He attacked a woman in, in, in the park just down the road. You know what? Let's get 50,000 likes for Steve getting arrested. Can we do that, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, guys? I'm Old Sarji. Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, I am inside of my abandoned house. We haven't been here in so long, all winter long, because the winter was horrendous. We could not get into the driveway. But today, I managed to just plow my truck through the driveway. We got in here. But we're not actually focusing today's video on my abandoned house. We are actually going to be camping, doing a 24-hour challenge inside of my haunted forest. This is gonna be an exciting one. I'm so excited for this. I really have been wanting to do this, but we've just been waiting for the weather to get less cold. I mean, it's Canada. And plus, I've been traveling a lot to the USA. I've been traveling a lot to the Dominican. I've been traveling all over to get you guys content. But today, I have a special one for you because we are going to be in this forest for 24 hours. And by we, I mean me and Moshi. Are you excited for this one? Yes, sir. All right. Before we get into the forest and before we go set up our tent and before we see what the heck is happening in my forest, it's been forever since we've been here. I need you guys to go to the links down below, get yourself that Timo Sarji merch. And here's the thing, guys. I put out an eBay listing for 18 of these hats that I'm wearing right now that are gonna be signed by me. It's the only time I'm ever doing this. There's only 18 of these on eBay. You can get them. The links are gonna be down below. Get them while you can. Now let's get on with this adventure. God, it's been so long since I've been here. It feels like it's literally been forever, man. Oh, oh my God. Yo, the house is cracking, dude. Look, what are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you break my chair? <laughs> are you okay, bro? Are you trying to get rid of some anger? Sorry. Bro, the house is breaking in half. Look, actually, that wasn't like that. Oh my god. The house is actually breaking in half. What? <laughs> no. Oh my god. The whole house is literally cracking in half. Look. What the hell happened here? I don't think this is normal. No, it's not normal. Look, the whole house is cracking in half. It's, it's about to fall back that way. Like where you are, it's going to fall back that way. So stand over here. Not today. Not today. Oh. Dude, you know what it must be? Here, take this. Dude, it literally must be all the paranormal activity that's in this house because of that giant Ouija board, the pentagram, everything. Or it could be just mother nature. It did snow a lot this year. But this house, I don't think it's gonna last another year. I think it's gonna get destroyed. Look, it's even cracking all the way to here. Look at that crack. <laughs> that explains when I came up the stairs today, that explains this. Look at this, the whole house has shifted. Like, there wasn't a ledge here before. So the house is falling apart, dude. What do we do? I don't know, let it fall apart. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the truck, grab the tent, and we're gonna go into the forest and begin our 24 hour overnight challenge. I'm excited about this. It's a bit warmer, but it's still cold. Um, it might snow, it might not. I don't know, the weather network's all over the place today. But you guys are in for an adventure. It really has been forever since we've been here. I'm so excited to actually do a 24 hour challenge in my actual forest. It's gonna be so exciting. I got my tent. This is my big tent. This is all we have today for shelter. We don't have sleeping bags. We might have to go and get some later. I should, I should have actually thought about that. I forgot about, but you know what? We have snow, so that could be like good cushion. How about snacks? We're gonna eat snow and maple syrup. We're what? gonna have to try to get maple syrup from the trees, like tap it out of the trees. Hey, listen, if all the people that used to live here back in the old days used to do it, we can do it too. That's actually true, let's do it. Let's do it. Just made it to the water part of the forest. It's actually so hard to get into this because there's so much snow everywhere. It's actually deeper than I expected it to be. But I'm not giving up on this challenge. I literally was expecting a little bit of snow, but not that much. Like, look how thick that snow is. So um, it looks undisturbed, so no one's been here, which is good. I, I feel like it's gonna be safe for us to do the overnight challenge. I don't think it's gonna be as deep inside because all the trees are kind of like, oh look, foot traffic. Is that animals or someone's been here? I think this would be the perfect spot to do our overnight challenge in the forest. You wanna do the honors? Let's do it. All right, here you go. It's a lot of work, dude. <laughs> That's it, just let it sit, let it sit down. That's it. We got our tent. Wow, that's it? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, we gotta do a little bit more work to it, but that's pretty much our tent for tonight. We're gonna be camping out in my forest in this thing. <laughs> this is pretty sick, right? Yeah, I actually like it. Who needs to buy one of those traditional tents that takes you like hours to like put together when you have this? This right here is all you need in life. Come on in. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, this is actually comfortable because we have like the, the cushioning of the snow. It's like, it's like a bunch of pillows. 
Yeah, this is cool. Like, if we were to just sleep on this, and it's not even cold out, which is good. I'm wearing double layers. Are you wearing double layers? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a sick overnight challenge. Like, you could actually make a groove. Like, this is my bed now. Dude, this is cozy. Wait, can, can that be my bed? No. Okay. You can make a groove there. Okay. <laughs> Smash the like button guys, hope you're excited for more overnight challenges. I do want to bring back the 24 hour overnight challenge. I feel like I kind of helped pioneer the overnight challenges way back in the day when we first started doing them. It's what blew up my channel and with your support too, you guys helped out so much too. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this one. If you guys want me to do other different overnight challenges, basically being in different locations, different places. I know a lot of you guys will say haunted, but like let's change it off the haunted stuff for a little bit. Uh, Cause I don't want everything to be the same and repetitive. That's not what this channel is about. From the beginning, we've always done different things. Um, I didn't even blow up my channel on haunted content. I blew up my channel on overnight challenges, surviving on deserted islands and surviving in the wilderness and places like that. So let's think outside of the box. Let's not think haunted all the time, but let's think something better. Let me know in the comments below. It's gonna get cold, no, no bullshit. Like we gotta find firewood. We have to, that's like the most important thing for this channel. So we're gonna go collect some firewood. We're gonna come back. I do have a knife, just in case there's a bear. Whoa. What the hell, dude, that bounced. He could have killed us, bro. Bro, I thought I, was, I could be like one of those people where they- No, 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 don't, don't throw it. No, no, hold on, hold on, I gotta do this. Wait, we have to. We got deer poop over here. That's right. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Wait, you don't think I can actually stick this into the wall? No, there's no way you can. Challenge within a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Our tent needs to look good. Our place of living in the forest, this is gonna be our patio, our front door patio. Uh. Yeah. Yo, we're about to have the best deck ever. Let's go! No one's ever had a tent with a deck. Our deck is the best. Do you have a deck? Let me see your deck. I have, I don't, it's very yeah, small. Yeah, that's what yeah. Right. okay. <laughs> you don't want to be sleeping in a tent full of snow. So why drag the snow in? Well, we have ourselves a nice patio. That's actually really cool. Imagine waking up in the mornings. You're like, Argh! just coming out of your tent. Nice cup of coffee. Enjoying the views. Dude. I really thought I would get it this time. I really did. The most important part to surviving in the wilderness, especially in an overnight challenge like this, is basically you need a fire pit. Regardless of how much warmth you're wearing, when it gets cold here in Canada, it gets really cold. So a fire pit is a must. So what's the point of a fire pit? Like why can't you just put wood and burn it? Like I mean in the summertime it's to contain the fire. But right now it's all snow. Nothing's gonna catch fire, really. So you got a point there. You're being a smart ass, but no, I, I didn't know. I was actually asking. Like you actually have a point. I Why thought. I... Yeah, it's, it's just like the fire pit spot, right? Wow, well, look at this. I'm dizzy. No, 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 no. Let's go get some wood. Oh, you burn small ones first? Yeah, to like get the big woods going. Cause oh. you can't just start by burning big wood. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that. You know, in life, things don't start out big, right? They go from small to big. You know what I mean? It just needs a bit of excitement. Where are you going? Why do you have to make everything sexual, man? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! This is going to be the best one yet. Like I said guys, the most important to, to an overnight challenge, especially if you're trying to survive out in the wilderness, I mean, we're not really in the, like we're in 150 acres of forest here, but like we have all the shops around us. We could literally order pizza here if we want to. That might happen later on today. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Imagine that the pizza delivery guy comes here and just sees like this. <laughs> By the way, happy Ramadan to all my Muslim friends out there, guys. It's Ramadan season right now and we are fasting, both Moshi and I. So we're filming an overnight challenge while we're fasting. That means we can't eat or break our fast until it's nighttime. Big shout out to all my Muslim friends and family out there. And to anyone else out there that wants to try out Ramadan, go ahead, try it out. It's very easy. I'm filming a whole video in a forest while fasting. I haven't had an espresso today. I haven't had water. I haven't had nothing yet. Wait, when you're fasting, you can't drink water? You can't drink water. You can't eat food. You can't put nothing in your mouth from sun up till sundown. You learned something today, yeah. kids. We got a little base for the fire going. We're gonna go get some more firewood, like bigger pieces. Out here is this big freaking tree. So, and we're not gonna find anything on the ground. So we're just gonna go in deep into the forest and see what we can find and then we'll be back. So let's go. Not only are we surviving the night out here for an overnight challenge, but we're literally fasting while doing it. So we're doing double survivals in one video.
Hell yeah, this is a good one. One hour later. This is not the most peaceful sound ever. Look at this, guys. We got a fire going right now. To keep us nice and warm. We are gonna get more wood throughout the, the day, obviously, you know, to keep the fire going. It took us forever off camera, like I didn't want to film it. I just I was very frustrated. It took, a long took time. us took us forever to freaking set this thing on fire. Yeah. But at least it's keeping us nice and warm. So what we actually have to do tonight, because we have no food, no water, and when we break our fast later tonight, we uh we need something to eat. So we gotta find like either berries. We actually have no food, like I, I promise you guys. We have zero food with us. We either have to find berries or something from inside this forest. Maybe like maple syrup somewhere. It doesn't need to be a big meal, but just something to get, get into our bellies. Or we're gonna have to order pizza. <laughs> if we don't find nothing, we'll order pizza, okay? Oh baby, this is so freaking awesome. We're about to start our trek into the forest. Moshi's just getting some stuff from this tent. Um, yo, this is so cool. Oh, I just seen the lady over there on the other side of the road. I thought I seen someone. Is it a lady? I don't know. Um, Look at what? Why do you put this in here? Huh? Why do you put this in here? For what? Are you just pranking me? No, what do you mean? Dude, you're not funny, man. You keep trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. <gasps> why do you oh, put that in there? I swear on my mother's life, I did not put that in there. Bro, what the f? I swear to God, I didn't put that in there. No, you're f pranking me. Say swear you didn't put it in there. I swear on my mother's life, I didn't put that in there. Oh shit, I almost burnt myself. Actually, here, hold this. Dude, what? So that's from inside the house. Bro, this is the clown thing from inside the house. When oh yeah, it was inside the house. That was inside the house. When Steve first showed up to my property like a year ago, this was in the house. You sure you promised you didn't put this? No, in? I didn't put that in there, dude. I was with you. We're getting wood. Well, yeah, we went to get wood. Do you think? Do you think somebody came here when oh, we were getting wood? What if it was already here? We just didn't notice it. Why would it be here already? Oh no, it wasn't here. No, we, we were inside. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like. <laughs> hey, Steve. That can't be you, man. You don't learn your lesson from the last time with the arrow. <laughs> Steve, did you put that mask in my tent? Where the f are you? Why are you still on my property? He said behind you. Oh, is he behind us? No. Steve, why are you still on my property? Oh, I got smoke in my eyes. What did he say? Yeah, I know, I was crying earlier. <laughs> Steve, I f***ing shot you with a bow and arrow, and you didn't learn your lesson. I don't want to have to kill you. I think I'm gonna have to call the cops on this guy. Like, I've, I've always stayed away from calling the cops on like certain people because, first of all, he's a homeless guy. And yeah. He's living in my forest, still. Yeah. Second of all, I, like, I don't like to be a snitch, you know what I mean? Like, in my, in my world, snitches get stitches. I don't call the cops on anybody for nothing. But I've, I'm sick and tired of this guy. Like, I want to use my property this summer to have fun, ATV, off-road, all this shit. And I don't want to have to be dealing with this idiot all the time. Steve, how are you watching us all the time? How do you know we were here? <laughs> Let's go find him. He said he's going to try to kill us. Do you want to kill me? Like, I'm honestly, dude, I have a gun on me right now. And I'll fing shoot you in the head. Like, I don't care. I don't have a gun. Yo, I just heard an echo of his voice. He must be close by. You just gave away your position, you piece of shit. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god. Bro, he's leading us into a trap. He might have some of his friends with him. Look, there he is. You see him? Oh, yeah, there he is. Dude!
Tate, where are you? He went back to his old campsite. Look, he came through here. Where is he? This is not what I wanted today. Like, I just wanted to do a 24 hour overnight challenge in the forest. He could have gone a million ways, you know? Literally, a million ways. Steve, his footsteps go there and then they stop. It's like they just disappeared. Be careful. He, he did not go through here. There's no like footprints in the mud. Nothing. Where the did he go? I think we should call the cops. Like actually, I just fell too, but dude, it fucking hurt. So where the fuck did he go? He doesn't just disappear out of nowhere, right? He's a clown, but he's not, he's human. He's not like some like ghost clown. You know what I mean? You think I should try to like radio him? Yeah, we'll try. Dude, we've tried to talk to him on the on the radios in the past so many times. Um, if you're new here and you're wondering how the f is that guy talking to me on this, well, I, I left a bunch of radios here like a year ago, um, and that's how we've been able to communicate with him. Because at first, when we first came to the property, when I first bought this place, and we found that tent in the forest, um, we, we were like, hey, why don't we leave a, a walkie-talkie for whoever is living here, and we can maybe try to talk with them and, and get to know them. Well, they didn't want to get to know us. They wanted to kill us. They wanted to hurt us. We had so many different adventures here with Steve, the homeless guy. The reason why we know his name is Steve is because he spray painted Steve all over my house, the abandoned house that we were just in. Um, he, he drew clowns all over the walls. He's destroyed my place. We found dead dogs. Literally, I had fans come in here in the past and I was showing them the property. And literally, as I was showing real fans my property, we found a real dog that was killed by him and it was left on our property. And it, it just sucks that there's been so much, so much pain, so much trauma from this place. Like the, he, him and his friend, because there's usually like two other clowns, but we haven't seen them in a long time. We've only seen Steve here and there. Um, I got caught here. There used to be a tent. Like here, show this area, Moshi. This empty white area, there used to be a tent here. And that was their other campsite. And there was a time where I got caught here and they literally beat me up here and it was really bad. Like we've had so much stuff happen and that that time when I got beat up by the clowns it was like the last draw I got a bow and arrow and I shot him. I literally shot him right in the stomach We found the, the blood we found the outfit all that stuff, but we didn't find him um, I posted the video of that on my app by the way If you guys want to see him get shot with a bow and arrow go to my links down below the exclusive app Mo Sarji go to the exclusive section become an exclusive member You can watch that there every one of these videos that I've made here on the property with Steve the clown they're so gruesome that they all got demonetized on my channel. Not one of them made me money. I actually lost money making these videos, but I know you guys fucking love them. You guys love seeing me like almost get killed and shit. It sucks that you guys enjoy that, but hey, if it gets the views, it gets the views. Um, but real talk though, we came out here today to do a 24 hour challenge. I did not expect him to be out here at all today because we're here to do a 24 hour challenge in my freaking forest. Like, leave me alone. What do you want from me, dude? Enough of me ranting. Hey, bitch ass pussy. Yo, bitch ass pussy clown, are you still there? Your name isn't Steve, it's bitch ass pussy clown. You appear out of nowhere and then you go and hide like a bitch ass pussy, which is what you are. You're the to suck my fing dick! <laughs> Seriously, I've never called the cops on you, I've always neglected to do it, but I'm actually gonna do it this time. Like, I need you off my property, man. I don't wanna actually kill you. Like, I don't wanna kill him, dude. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm just warming up my toes. Give me a moment, goddammit. What? He's at our campsite, he said he's warming up his clothes. He said he's, he's warming up his toes. Oh, and there's fire there, yeah. Where are you, Steve? You see him anywhere? No. Bitch ass pussy clown, where are you? <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of drugs are you on? Seriously. Like real talk, maybe I can help you out. Ah. Dude, it's way too quiet here.
Steve? Where are you? I hate you! Well, he's not in the tent. We would have, we would have heard him talk, right? Let's check it out. Three, Three two, you. one. He's not in there now. Fuck. Yo, can't you just leave us alone, man? Why don't you just like go find some other forest to live in? Why mine? Why mine? You are me. Me and you are one. What? Same. How does that even make any sense? You're on crack, dude. They call me by smoking the fucking crack. Bro, where the f is it? Like, what do we do? I don't want to continue this video if this guy's around here you know we just got the fire going i'm strapping myself to a gopro i'm gonna go out and look for this guy moshi you're gonna stay back here make sure headquarters is nice and safe and secure okay i think it'd be better you have a camera i have a camera if anything happens record i got this going on the whole time i actually prefer this on me because if i have to fight this guy i can actually use both hands radio me you have a radio yes okay radio me for anything okay okay good luck man please don't die yeah. If you die, can I have your car? Which one? Wow, anyone. <laughs> I really want to find out where this clown is fucking hiding because I have so much content that I want to do on my property. But if every time I'm out here, he's here, shit's going to get dangerous. And I don't want that. Where are you? I just want to talk, man. So guys, I'm just playing here with the fire. You already know. It's like a foot trail. Looks like someone's gone through here. Where are you, you stupid clown? Hey, Steve. Come to me. Where are you, you stupid clown? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Fuck you! Get out of it! Oh, you mother... Oh, son of a bitch. Where the f*** did he come from? Where the f*** did he go? Where the f*** did he go? Steve, where are you? Where the f*** are you, you piece of shit? My back hurts. This guy just jumped on my back. Uh, uh. That wasn't nice of you, Steve. That was a nice of you. He jumped on my back and he, he punched me in, in, the, in the back and the abdomen a couple times. Prick. I think he ran back through the forest, but I, I'm not going after him. F that. <laughs> Moshe! 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 Yo, I just got attacked by him. I got attacked by him. I'm not joking. He just jumped me. He jumped me. He stuck up me through the back. He jumped on me. Are you okay? He, he punched me in the back a couple times, but my back hurts a lot because he jumped on my back. <sighs> he was waiting for me. Dude, we gotta, we, we gotta call the cops, man. We actually have to call the cops. Like, I'm, I'm done with this. I, I can't keep doing this back and forth. I like, really can't. Like, it's your backyard and you don't feel safe in your own backyard. No! Like, you literally have a risk of dying here. What I wanna know is where the f did he come from? He just comes and goes like a fucking ghost. Yeah. Like I literally thought he was gonna stab me or something, but he didn't have a knife or anything. He just, I didn't see his face. I actually didn't see his face. All I saw was like yellow arms and shit. And I saw something coming at me, but he literally jumped me and it hurt my back a lot. He's a big guy up close. Really? He's really big. I know it's kind of weird saying this, but like he didn't feel like a child or like a young person. He felt like a more of like, a, like an older person. Hmm. He smelled like cigarettes terribly. So Moshi and I are here right now just searching 
There's no way, like, this guy's going back. My back hurts. Hey! What the f out of the trees? Bro, oh, that's his jacket and mask. Why would he leave it here? Is he trying to scare us? That's him. This is not the same mask as before. He had a different mask before. This guy's got like a whole assortment of masks. What a weirdo. But that's his jacket. Nice. Oh my god. Jesus. It smells like shit. It smells like I can smell the cigarettes from here. This guy's never fing bathed in his life. Hey Steve, you know what I'm gonna fing do, you piece of shit? I'm gonna set your fing clothes on fire. Let's set it on fire. That's what you get, you fucker. F you. Let's make a big let's, let's make a bigger fire. Well, I'll have you know the cops are coming. They're not actually coming. I'm gonna call the cops after we set this on fire. Fuck him. <laughs> this guy thinks everything's a joke. If we set it on fire, he won't have another outfit. We might be able to see what he looks like without the yellow jacket. Oh, that's true. Right? That's so smart. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to continue this overnight challenge. We're gonna call the cops. First things first, I'm gonna burn all this shit. So, f you, Steve. Kiss my ass, you piece of shit. Wow. Well, I think stinks. Next up is his mask. Whoa! It smells so bad. Right? It smells like wind. Yeah. It smells like cigarettes. Literally, like an abandoned shithole. Last but not least, Steve's jacket. I don't know where he's stealing these from, but definitely stealing them from somewhere. There you go. Piece of shit. Oh, say can you see? Well, hopefully he sees the smoke and it lets him know that we set his shit on fire. Hey, Steve, we set all your shit on fire. F you, you piece of garbage. He said he's gonna kill me and that friend of mine. Okay, from what I understood from that. I hope you see that smoke in the sky, Steve. All that smoke is that trash you used to wear. Now you don't have an outfit. Now we're gonna actually get to see what the you look like. So show yourself. Well, this is the remnants of Steve right here, guys. This is the last of his outfit. <laughs> he's so annoying. What do you want? I wanna play a game. I wanna play a game of hide and seek. But I'm gonna tell you why, man, because I'm fucking tired of your bullshit. You really think I'm gonna fall for another one of your fucking traps? Meet me! Meet me at fucking Pokemon Avenue in fucking 10 minutes! Who's gonna kill you? Avenue, that's a fucking park. Yeah. That's a forest, that's nearby. Why are you telling me to go there? Why don't you just come to us? <laughs> I didn't get what he said, I accidentally turned off the uh, walkie-talkie. What did you say? I didn't get that. I can't wait to see you! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Then come over here and kill me, you piece of shit. Tell you what, I'm gonna wait right here, and if you want me, you can come to me. I'm doing my fucking video, this is my property, and this is where I'm staying. Um, I have a feeling like he's not gonna come back. I think he's just gone. He's not gonna come, he's not gonna come back without an outfit, you know what I mean? Dude. Like, he's not gonna risk showing himself. You know what, Mo? I think we should meet him at that place. No, I don't want to. that. I think he we should continue our overnight challenge. Okay. Why? Why? So we fall for his trap? If we meet him at his place, we're gonna be falling for his trap. Like no, actually, dude, because last time it was just you versus him. Now it'll be us two versus one. I've had times where it was me, Moses, Mo, all three Mo's together. Really? And he attacked us with his friends. He had like he always had friends with him. Wow. Like before, it used to be like three of us. You know what I mean? Like Mo's not here right now. He's at work. Moses is not here right now. He's at work as well. Um, that's why it's only me and Moshi, but we weren't expecting him to be here today. I say we continue on with our overnight challenge, just like planned. And you know what? If he comes back, we'll deal with him. I don't think he will though. We set his shit on fire. He's not gonna show his face without that. Dude, we're not, like, I'm not going nowhere. You know? I, I, I kinda wanna go adventure. Like, I, I wanna go get berries and stuff. 
Like actually? Yeah, the sun's the sun's about to set. Like, take the knife with you at least. <laughs> you didn't even. No, right, sorry, no. Bro, I'm getting hungry. Take the knife with you. <laughs> I, I didn't hesitate to let you go. You can yeah. go. I'm staying back here. I'm tired, bro. My uh, back hurts. I, I was kind of expecting you to say like, "Oh, you want me to come with you?" Yeah, no. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. <laughs> go, bro. We got a video to make. This has been a freaking crazy ass adventure. But I'm staying back here. Um, he wants to go venture out. He can go venture out. He's a grown man. And he's got a knife. And I, I really don't think this guy's going to be coming back. And honestly, I don't even want to talk about him anymore. Let's just forget about him. Go back to our 24-hour overnight challenge. Like, look at this. I am freaking sitting here in the woods with this beautiful-ass view. And I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to get attacked every time I'm on my damn property. I definitely got to get some more wood for this fireplace. But I'm surprised we were actually able to get this fire going. We did a pretty good job. Minus the plastic all up in here. What? Oh. What? Dude, there's a man right there. What do you mean? Yo, I saw a man there, dude. Like actually? He had like blood on his face. What do you mean? It's like an older man, blood on his face. He's right there. What did he look like? What do you mean? He had like a toque on. He's like a white man. He's older. <coughs> I think he had like gray sweatshirt. Hey, watch out. Watch out with that knife. I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself. You saw an old white man? He had like a, a beard. He had like blood on his face. Where was he going? I don't, he was just staring at me. He had a weird, disgusting look in his face, bro. Yo, I don't want to do this, bro. Wait, actually? Yeah. It wasn't Steve? It was he well, no, we have his jacket. We no, burnt no. his jacket. He didn't, he didn't Wait, what the f Maybe that was Steve. Oh, shit. You got to look at his f face. Oh, I elbowed him, because when I, he was on me, I elbowed him. So the blood on his face was from your elbow. Just like an older white guy with a beard. How big? Creepy. About your size. He's pretty big, about your size. Really? Dude, he was just standing right there. Like how close to here? Like down the path? How far did you go in? About a minute walk. What was he wearing? He had like an orange like jacket. Orange jacket. Whitish beard, gray, gray like uh, sweatpants. Dude, you got a full look on him. Yeah, dude, he's like an older white guy. What? Yo, let's go check the it out. The blood is very creepy. He just stared at me with his eyes, dude. So I, so I must have actually heard him when I elbowed him. Like I did elbow him, but I didn't think he did anything. Like when I, when he was on me, I was on the ground. He was on me. The camera was face down to the snow. And it went like that. And that's what got him to get up and get off me. He's he's probably really mad, dude. His face is bloody. You you burnt his outfit. He's cheesed right now. So you gotta look, dude. You gotta look at his face. That's good for the cops. Cause we can't just go to the cops and be like, hey, there's a guy in a clown mask. Like how are they, how are they gonna take us seriously? But now that we actually have his description, we got a blood trail. Really? We got a blood trail going deep in. I said we just go call the cops and let them know that there's a guy bleeding. Yeah. Wearing an orange, a hat. What would you say? A gray hat? I have like a gray toque, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Let's do it. Yeah, hi. Um, uh, it's not an emergency, maybe, but uh, maybe you can help me out. So I'm, I was on my property. I have like 150 acres. Uh, my name is Mo Sarji. Mo. M-O-E. S-A-R-G-I. Yeah, okay. So the emer... Well, let me just explain. The emergency is, is that I had this guy on my property and he attacked me today he, like he jumped me from the back um i've had issues with him in the past but i never called you guys because huh no like I, i'm trying to explain no let me explain let me explain so i've never seen what this guy looks like because he's always wore like a, a worn like a clown mask yeah yeah an actual clown mask and he's attacked me on my property many times before um he actually attacked me today but we found his outfit hanging in my tree um, it was like a yellow yeah it's like a yellow a yellow jacket and an it clown like a really shitty it clown mask but the thing is is my camera guy he went out for a walk in the forest later today and he saw what he actually looked like and he said he was covered in blood um probably from me because i actually elbowed him yeah like when he jumped me like i elbowed him in the face so he has blood on his face and he's saying he's like an old white male um what do you think, like 50 years old? Yeah, 50, 55. 55 years old? Yeah. He's, he's kind of like off his meds, because whenever, like, like it's a long story, honestly. Like, like he's got a walkie-talkie, he White always guy. talks to me on it, and he sounds all cracked out. Yeah, can you guys, like, just be on the lookout? Like, I don't want him hurting anybody else. Like, he, he's tried to attack me many times. Um, I've, at, I've actually, like, gotten revenge on him. Um, I just don't want this to, to keep going on because like literally like this is my property and I just want to enjoy it and every time I'm out here I'm looking out for my life. 
Yeah, yeah. So great. What do you say? Great pet joggers. Yeah, but joggers. Um, white, white, white man. He's about white. six, six tall, six foot tall. He's like pretty big. Six foot tall, pretty yeah. big, almost like me. Yeah. Um, what, his face. What does his face look like? Was he wearing glasses? No glasses. I can't recall. I, I don't think he was wearing glasses. No. No. Yeah, so I'm not sure about like the face stuff, like white beard. You said. Yeah, white beard. Yeah, yeah. Just, like that's all. Like that's all you guys really can do. Just look around. I mean, if you find him, something happens, just let us know. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can call me anytime on this number. No, this, this isn't a prank. Like, she thinks it's a prank. Oh my this God. is not a prank. Trust me, I'm not playing a prank on you. Why the fuck would I? Sorry about. Sorry about my language. Why would I call you guys and tell you guys that I'm doing this and it's a prank? It's not a prank. He says his name is Steve, so I don't know, maybe that's not a real name, but I've found evidence of him living on my property before, like camp encampments, like campsites, teepees, other camps that he set on fire, by the way. Yeah, but I've been dealing with him for a while now. Yeah, yeah, for sure, 100%, like I'm always available, so like if you, if you find anything about this guy, just let me know, give me a call back, shoot me an email. Okay, all right, cool, thank you. Well, I mean, I doubt they're going to do anything. You know, the cops don't do shit. That's but, all you can really do. But at do. least we have something. Because before, yeah. all we had was a mask and a yellow jacket, right? Now, you somehow managed to get a look of this guy. Maybe they'll catch him. You never know. Let's go back to the campsite. I feel better, like, letting the cops know. Although, I don't like calling cops. Um, I just, I don't like to be a snitch. Like, that's what I've always been. Like, snitches get stitches, you know? Like, in, in my past, in my childhood, the way we grew up, you call the cops for whatever reason, you're a snitch. But, like... This has got to end, dude. Like, I want to bring my family on this property. I want to bring my daughter here to play in the summer. And, you know, I don't want her to be in danger. You know what I mean? I'm getting a call from an unknown caller. Could be the cops. Hello? Yeah, this is him. What? What do you mean? Like, you caught him? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but I've been I've been trying to find this guy for a long time. Yo, if I if you you saw him, right? Yeah. If we went there, can you ID him? Yes, yes. They caught him. He just attacked some woman. In Where? The Where? Park. He attacked a woman in, in in the park just down the road. Let's go. All right, all right, okay, okay. We'll be there. We'll be there soon. I got a black truck. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Oh my God. <gasps> we finally caught Steve. Dude, they caught him. Let's the guy with, with the description that you gave us. Let's get out. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah, we're almost at the place and there's a cop right in front of us, guys. I hope they actually caught him. So as we got to the parking lot to where there's a whole bunch of cop cars where they apparently arrested the guy that Moshi described he had seen, um, things were chaotic, things were crazy, and I need to give you guys context because I actually have a lot of missing footage from the ending of this video. First of all, my memory card got corrupted. I had to pay $300 to get most of this footage back of the actual arrest. I had so much filmed and somehow my memory card got corrupted and I, I literally was only able to get back a portion of what you guys are going to see. You guys are about to see Steve, you're about to see him get arrested and you're about to see the woman that he attacked in this actual park. I literally had to pay $300 to get this footage back. I'm not making any money on this video. Please smash the like button, like 20,000 likes guys. I would really appreciate it. Steve literally got arrested and I'm about to show you guys what happened right now. You know, it's weird. Right now is not the coolest, you oh, know? I was recording him. So basically we went searching to see if we could find the guy that Moshi had seen in this forest. Uh, apparently the cops had gotten a hold of him. We walked through the forest. We seen this lady crying. She looked like she had a bit of blood on her as well. We did have to blur it because first of all, um, legality issues on YouTube. I do not want to put anyone on YouTube that doesn't want to be on YouTube. And also out of respect for the Ottawa police because I absolutely love our police service. They're the greatest police force on earth. They're such kind and awesome people and I fully respect them. So basically, Steve, the guy that had been arrested, attacked this woman inside of this forest and she had a dog with her. Now, if you guys remember, Steve has left us a couple of dead dogs on the property in the past that we've actually found, which is disgusting. I don't know if this guy attacked this woman to take her dog and kill her dog and leave it on my property because he's done it twice before. Keep that in mind. So thank God, I don't know what happened. I don't know how he got caught, but he did. Thank God for that. Like I said, guys, I don't know too much details of what ensued for him to get caught in that forest. Maybe somebody caught him trying to capture that 
woman's dog and kill it. It's a possibility. Okay, I hope you guys are ready. The guy that you're about to see in the orange outfit, which is what Moshi described to us at the beginning of this video, is the guy that got arrested, and that's the guy that Moshi seen in my forest earlier on in the day. We believe this is 100% Steve. There is no way this guy is not Steve. First of all, he fits his description in height. He is a bit old too, which is crazy. But the worst part about it is that we could literally smell him in the parking lot. He smelled very, very bad. I don't know what he was trying to do with that woman. Maybe he was trying to like sexually assault her. Maybe he was trying to kill that dog. I, I guarantee you he was trying to take her dog to kill it and throw it on my property. He's done it twice before and I wouldn't be surprised that he, if he was trying to do it again. Thank God he got caught. Thank God the puppy's okay. Thank God that woman is okay. And thank God the awesome Ottawa police was there to actually help out. What a crazy fucking day. If you guys want to see the unblurred version of Steve, if you guys want to see his face, I will be posting it on my exclusives at my exclusive app, the Most RG app. The link is down below. The reason why I can't post it here on YouTube because of legal issues. I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get in trouble by YouTube. I don't want my channel to be taken down. I've almost had these problems in the past and I do not want to do it. I don't care if you're going to get mad at me, guys. I'm sorry. The only way I can show you guys his face, and I do want to show you guys his face, it was covered in blood. I did tell you guys I elbowed him in the face and I did find the blood trail in my forest. So that tells us that it literally was him. And if you guys want to see that footage, if you want to see him unblurred, I will post that on my app, the Most Sarge app. Become an exclusive member to see that. Become an exclusive member to see how I shot him with the bow and arrow like five months ago. Um, and that's on my app as well. Stuff like that, I can't post on YouTube because of legal issues. Um, on my app though, it's my own app. I can post whatever the hell I want. I don't have to blur anything. I don't have to actually blur, take out cuss words. None of that stuff. And I do post one new video per week on the Most Sarge app. So become an exclusive member. Go watch it right now let me know what you think now i don't think i'm gonna be seeing steve anymore if i do have any more information for you guys i will follow up honestly guys i'm really happy that we can put this behind us i hope this guy rots in jail for the rest of his life one thing that really still scares me though is steve always had an accomplice he always always had an accomplice and he hasn't showed himself in a long time am i gonna end up having problems with steve's henchmen in the future i don't know but i'll keep you guys updated if so but for now i'm gonna go back to my abandoned property to my forest enjoy it for the summertime enjoy it for the springtime make content for you guys let me know in the comments below what kind of content you want to see coming out of there also Smash that like button, guys. Let's get 20,000. Let's get 30. You know what? Let's get 50,000 likes for Steve getting arrested. Can we do that, ladies and gentlemen? Can we please do that? I would really appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for everyone that doubted me. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Cool. But for everyone that stuck around with me and supported me all throughout this whole series of Steve the Clown, the, home, the homeless guys, people destroying my abandoned house, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Timo Sarji merch. Links are down below. New merch is coming soon. Don't forget, guys, become exclusive members. I'm going to be doing giveaways to exclusive members as well. The links for that are down below. I love you guys. I'm so happy that we can put this behind us now.